Hello people, how's it going? I don't even know if this video is going to be interesting for anyone to see and if it's going to be seen, but well, here we go. This is intended to be the first video of a series of videos showcasing the video games I have completed with 100%. And I mean that. 100% means that I have done everything, collected everything, unlocked everything, and if there are achievements involved, then also that. I feel the need to leave a record of the games in which I have done this. It's a lot of time involved and dedication. Here we are seeing footage of Xenoblade Chronicles X for Wii U. The reason why I picked this game to start is because this one took me almost 3 years to finally be able to put it down and say I did it. I started playing it up to chapter 10 probably back in 2015, then I stopped for several months, then I played it again, then there was work and other games and this title is one demanding game in terms of time. You need to gather a lot of stuff and farm like crazy. The main story must be completed of course, but then after that you have this massive map filled with missions and things to discover, probes to plant, enemies to kill and so on. After that you have to not only fill the enemy index with every single enemy in the game, but you also need to complete a thing called Collectopedia with items encountered in every region of the map. Going on you have to max out all the abilities for all the companions and all the classes. Another process that took me a while using the Noctilum Knight support mission. Then there is this thing called the AM terminal where you can craft all sorts of augments, weapons and armor. And this one was the breaking point because if you create something here it is immediately marked as crafted with a symbol. Farming for materials, killing the global nemesis thousands of times to get tickets, playing Noctilum Knight to get blade medals and so on. The AM terminal was the thing that almost made me surrender. I ended up creating 4 RS90 and hundreds of augments in order to complete the enemy index. The AM terminal had also a catch, because in order to create some items, you needed to find the schematics first, and that was a challenge on its own. I even updated some of the wiki pages for the game because I managed to confirm some of the drops that apparently no one else had confirmed. Then there is this thing called the holo figures. The holo figures are random items dropped by all the world bosses called tyrants in the game. So the augments I created in the AM terminal helped me finish this thing rather quickly and also helped me with the last thing I did. Xenoblade Chronicles X have in-game achievements, 749 to be precise, and some of them require to kill enemies of the same category 100 times. So in order to do that, I crafted a lot of augments for the Ultrafauna wounds that are Parsis and Telethia. There are some others like Nardassion, Lugalbanda and Bortise that are also hard to defeat, but you don't need to kill them 100 times. Some hard achievements include giving a final blow to a global nemesis that cannot be obtained anymore because the number of players is no longer able to kill one in the time limit. And I'm pretty sure there are others that are also kinda impossible to obtain due to its online nature. There is also a mission terminal which is linked to the completion of the map, a time attack section with several bosses, an affinity chart that is updated every single time you interact with some important NPCs, and last but not least, some things that you can't be 100% sure you got them all, the info and the treasures. 
These two are linked to some extent because every time you find an NPC carrying a yellow speech bubble, they give you information, info, about a treasure or a tyrant. So in order to find the info and the treasures, you just need to wander around the entire map searching for them. The treasures appear as yellow dots once you are close, but for the info you need to actually be really close to an NPC holding one. And there is the thing that some NPCs holding those appear at night and disappear at day and vice versa. So well, before killing 20 more Lofits to finally put the game down, I surveyed the entire map searching for those two things. The search was kinda productive because I found 5 more yellow dots on some islands and lots and lots of bubbles in New LA. I also found a new landmark. There isn't a guide anywhere or a checklist for those, so you can only hope for the best and trust that you search properly. Some of the NPCs I talked to also updated the affinity chart, so there is no way to know for sure if the affinity chart is also completed, but I'd be impressed if not after everything I did. Then, after checking everything, I killed the last 20 Lofits I had to kill and boom. Funny thing is that the very first achievement I got was on the 25th of December of 2015, and the last one was on the 25th of August of 2018. Same day, different month, and almost 3 years. Please let me know if you know someone that had completed this game as much as I have, because I don't really think anyone would create everything from the AM terminal for example. I just need to know if someone out there is just as crazy as I am. I'll leave some links in the description for the guides I used to help me in this task. Well, this concludes everything. I expect to do more of this in the future, at least with the games I'm able to record. See you around.